Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of running out of space on your phone because of all those awesome photos and videos you take? Do you wish there was a way to automatically back them up to your QNAP NAS without lifting a finger? Well, you're in luck. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up QNAP's auto upload feature for Apple iPhones. It's super easy, and it'll give you peace of mind knowing your precious memories are safe and sound. Let's dive in. Open the QFile app and tap Transfer at the bottom. We're interested in auto upload, so tap Go. QFile needs access to your photos. For full auto upload awesomeness, choose Allow Full Access. All right, QFile is now talking to your NAS. See that list? Those are all the folders on your NAS. You can tap any of them to store your photos and videos there. Now, maybe you wanna keep things extra organized. Like maybe you want a special folder just for your phone backups. No problem. Just tap plus button to create a new folder. Give your folder a catchy name. I'll call mine iPhone Picks. Then tap OK. See, there's your new folder. Tap it to select it, then tap set location to make it the home for your automatic uploads. Boom. Now you've got a dedicated space for all your precious memories. Time to customize. Okay, let's talk about upload rules. This is where you decide what gets uploaded. If you wanna back up every photo and video on your phone, choose upload all, just like I'm doing here. But let's say you only wanna upload new stuff from now on. Maybe you already backed up your older photos manually, or you just don't need them on your NAS. In that case, you can tap upload from and then choose a specific date. QFile will ignore anything older than that date. This is a great way to save space and only upload what you really need. Wanna keep your original file names? You can do that here. All right, let's talk organization. This is where you decide how your photos and videos are sorted on your NAS. By default, QFile likes to keep things tidy by creating folders for each year and month. So you'll have a folder for 2024, and inside that you'll have folders for January, February, March, and so on. This is super helpful for finding photos from a specific time period. But hey, maybe you prefer a different style. If you want a simpler setup, you can choose to organize by year only. This will create one folder for each year, like 2023, 2024, 2025, and all your photos and videos from that year will be inside. Or if you just want everything in one place, you can choose combine all into one folder. This will put all your uploaded media together, no matter when it was taken. This is great if you don't need to worry about specific dates and just want a big pool of memories. Now for some important settings. You can allow QFile to use cellular data, but watch out for those data charges. To save battery, you can choose to upload only when charging. Okay, this next setting is super important. See this background transfer option? This is the secret sauce that lets QFile keep uploading your photos and videos even when you're not actively using the app. Go ahead and turn it on. Now, here's the thing about iPhones. They're pretty strict about apps running in the background. To make sure QFile can keep doing its thing, it needs permission to access your location. Don't worry, it's not tracking your every move. It just uses this to avoid getting shut down by the iPhone's power saving features. See this message? It's asking you to change your location settings for QFile. So let's do that. Tap confirm again, and it will take you right to the QFile settings in your iPhone settings app. Here under location, make sure you choose always. This tells your iPhone that it's okay for QFile to use your location in the background. This is crucial for those uninterrupted uploads. All right, we're all set. Now with background transfer enabled and location access granted, QFile can work its magic behind the scenes. You can close the app, browse the web, play games, whatever you want. QFile will keep chugging along, uploading your precious memories to your NAS. Back in QFile, you can choose what to do with duplicate files, skip or rename. Got live photos? Decide if you want to upload both the video and photo or just the photo. You can also choose how to handle HEIC files, those super efficient image files iPhones love. Upload them as HEIC, JPEG, or both. To make browsing your photos easier later, enable generate thumbnails. And with change modified date, the date your photo was taken will be displayed, not just the date it was uploaded. Now, about uploading videos with cellular data. Be careful. Videos are big, and using your mobile network can gobble up your data. Unless you have unlimited data, I'd leave this off. Wi-Fi is your friend for videos. 
Once you're happy with your settings, tap Confirm. Qfile will scan your phone and start uploading. You can check the progress under View Details. If you have a lot to upload, use Sleep and Transfer to keep things moving even when your phone's screen is off. Just make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and plugged into power. That's it! iPhone Photos auto-backed up to your QNAP SNES. Enjoy capturing memories worry-free. Like and subscribe for more QNAP tips.